Before you die, let me show you the things I have done, so you will understand the breadth of my transformation. Hey, I'm Mark Hamill, and I'm voting for Joby Wan Kenobi. Do you see? For Joby Wan Kenobi. Do you see? <laughs> Do you see? <laughs> you know, in this what I'll call hmm era of darkness we've been going through, not just entertainment wise, but in all aspects of our lives from the looks of it, for me, there have been three things that continue to give me a little hope. Just just a little hope. One of those is creative and consistent memes. Every time I see an idiot spout off about things that aren't actually an issue but are trying to make an issue, all I have to do is look at the comment section and read some of the most entertaining replies you will ever see. Things that mainstream comedy doesn't dare do anymore. And for that, I give a full and hearty thank you to each and every one of you for doing this. My god, it's refreshing. The second thing is the few films and shows that for the last few years have been creeping in that remind us of how normal entertainment used to be. Films and shows like Bullet Train, Samaritan, Oppenheimer, Clarkson's Farm, Mission Impossible, The Equalizer, John Wick, The Beekeeper, The Gentleman, Sound of Freedom, The Fall Guy, Dune, and of course, South Park. And that last one, ladies and gentlemen, brings me to the third point and the topic of today's video, the consistency of South Park. Okay, so one can argue that South Park has an advantage in that it started over 20 years ago and therefore an element of being grandfathered in is present, but I just feel that devalues a lot of what this show has achieved over the years. I mean, there are shows like Britannia. It lasted for three series and was unceremoniously cancelled even though it was great the flash say what you want about that show i personally think it sucked but you would be surprised by its fan base it is quite big and it lasted nine series before getting cancelled letter kenny 12 series was very popular in certain circles cancelled my point is there are no absolutes in this industry and south park keeps going from strength to strength it doesn't seem to matter what they do whether that's taking on the hypocrisy of the u.s policy towards china I am a proud member of the Communist Party. The party is more important than the individual. Showing two clowns for who they are. You've lived a life with the royal family. You've had everything handed to you, but you say your life has been hard, and now you've written all about it in your new book, Where? Or taking down the worst of them all. We were just discussing uh, ideas of what to do with the new Prince Eric movie. Put a chick in it, make her gay. Maybe we should go a different route than we did with Indiana Jones. Indiana Jones, put a chicken in it and make a lemon gay! Now they have a new special coming out that is set to take aim at the stupidity of celebrities, a subject they have lots of material for, where they are now taking the drug Ozempic, or however you pronounce it, a diabetes medication. The medication that has previously only been prescribed to people with diabetes has taken Hollywood by storm. Oh lord, I can already see where this South Park episode is going to go. Yeah, so anyway, a diabetes medication which these cretins have been using. Okay, so like a year ago, I tried it. Okay. You know, it's like, you know, you try it. But do you? And I was one of the people that felt like so sick and like couldn't like play with my son. I was so <laughs> skinny and I was just like, like he was throwing a ball at me and it was just. <laughs> yeah, funny. Apparently, sometimes without even realizing it. I didn't even know I was on it. Really? I doubt that. I went, she said, oh, if you ever want to drop, because I said, she goes, if you ever want to drop five pounds, this is good. Oh, well, that's all right then. So the synopsis for this episode is this. In the end of obesity, weight loss drugs take the quiet mountain town of South Park by storm. When the overweight, foul mouthed Eric Cartman is denied access to the medicine, he recruits Kyle, Stan, Butters, and Kenny for help. It's time for some drastic measures to bring down his weight. There's these new crazy drugs people are doing. Have you heard of semaglutides? Semaglutides? Cozempic, Monjaro. You know, Cartman, this could be dangerous. Let's do it. I mean, you couldn't make fun more directly than this, could you? Unless you were to put Amy Schumann's face on Cartman's body. Ew. As usual, though, South Park never sticks to just one subject matter. We've been out navigating the American healthcare system. I almost died. I don't know if they will do it here or perhaps in a special just before or after, but I'm hoping to see some Dementia Man and Orange Man references in an episode soon. My God, the memes will be glorious. They were last time. Jeez, how bad can a president be? If certain people want to leave this country, then let them! 
You tell those pussy homos they can suck my balls. Have Mr. Garrison back as Orange Man would be fantastic. I don't know what the f I'm doing. And unlike me, she's actually capable of running this country. My opponent is a liar and he cannot be trusted. No! Oh my god, she is such a turd sandwich. I think the point to this video is that I'm just really looking forward to something. Which, as I showed earlier, is a rare thing considering the few things we have that are actually great. The special lands on the 24th of May. I do hope you all go and watch this. It's the only time you'll hear me actively encourage you to go and watch an actual streaming service. I'm sure I'll be back with a review of this, no doubt. Until then, we got more Nurse What reviews. <laughs> Plus a load of other stuff, no doubt. So until then, do take care.